everyone, it's Mika, and today I'm bringing to you a general reading for all my Libras out there. It's going to be for Libra Sun, Moon, and Rising for the week of February 6th until February 12th. All right, so let's get into it. So the first card that I have for you is the Moon card. It's in reverse, but you know, no huge worries. Um, the underlying theme for this week, it may bring things that have been hidden to the surface, um, whether it's an actual, you know, transgression that has actually occurred, or if it's hidden feelings that have not been revealed, you may be finding out how someone truly feels about you this week. And it may not necessarily be the message that you've been waiting for. Um, it could also be issues with overcoming bad tempers this week as well as, you know, somebody could be taking advantage of you or hopefully you're not the one who's taking advantage of someone else. So be mindful of that. You know, deception is in the air this week for my Libras. So be careful with that. And again, it's a general reading. May not apply to you. Hopefully it doesn't. All right, so the next card that I pulled for you is the Nine of Cups, Upright. And this is all pointing towards success and material gains, absolutely. Taking advantage, no, not necessarily, but you will have the advantage in the upper hand, as well as abundance, good health and overcoming adversity, all right? So just because there might be some, you know, not so happy news being revealed or emotions coming to the surface does not mean that positive, wonderful things can't happen to you. You know, all weeks are not all bad or all good. They're usually a mixed bag <laughs> of multiple events, thoughts, feelings, etc. All right, so the Nine of Cups is definitely a good card to have in the upright position. So I'm loving it. The next card that I pulled for you is the Emperor. And the Emperor card in reverse is pointing towards some immaturity going on, indecision, you know, failure to control petty emotions and... You know, whenever this comes up, I just say, you know, don't be petty. Don't be spreading gossip. Try to treat people the way they treat you. And if you've been allowing someone to take advantage of you, then now was definitely the time to put an end to it. But don't do tit for tat because that just builds up bad karma. And whatever you do to someone, it comes back to you. In fact, I'm a believer that it'll come back to you threefold. So, you know, be mindful of that this week. Pay attention to the more positive things. Get your mind right. Do affirmations. Do a cleansing bath to cleanse yourself of all that negative energy that might be stuck on you, might be directed towards you. Because you want to be in a place where you can accept whatever blessings the universe has for you this week. I mean, look at this girl in this card, you know? She looks like she's chilling out in her yard. Look like she had a few too many drinks, but hey, <laughs> you know? <laughs> it looked like it did her some good, okay? So you want to be in a good frame of mind this week. And again, whatever negativity comes your way, you want to be able to handle it, all right? All right, so the next card is the Page of Pentacles. And the Page of Pentacles upright is hinting towards deep concentration, scholarly work. So you might be in school, you might be taking some courses, your job might be putting you in some trainings this week. Um, you're just in an all-around do-gooder phase or there might be some do-gooders around you and bearers of news. Could be good news could be not so good news but whatever it throws your way just know that you can handle it all right it's got you it's got you all right so moving on the next card next card, not the next card 
Ugh, sorry, my neck is bothering me. I need to do some yoga myself and get some stretching. And I need a massage too. Um, the luck card. You are right to be strong and optimistic about the opportunities of head. See, I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. I would love to get the luck card. We can all use all the good luck that we can get. And this card is signifying that luck is all around you this week. So if you are single, you might meet somebody a lot easier than, you know, anticipated. It might just happen like that. And as well as career and money, you might be having opportunities for some growth. Uh, you might be having some money wins. Not a bad week to buy some lotto tickets, especially now that we have Virgo moving forward. She's not sleeping and getting that beauty rest anymore. So she's moving direct. And we also have Jupiter out there to help us too. So this could be a very good week to, uh, you know, buy a ticket and see what happens. Again, don't spend more than you can afford to lose. But hey, take a chance. And if it's for you, you'll get it. And as well as career opportunities, you might be landing a nice deal or a new job. You never know. Put yourself out there. This is definitely weak to do it, Libra. And the next card that I have for you is the Lion card. And the Lion is all about harnessing that loyal and protective aura of the Lion and charge ahead magnificently so there could be some wins coming through in terms of the justice department and libra yes you're all about justice and balancing that out it could be also some signs of protection but just know that you are protected this week so if you want to take a risk go ahead and do so but i always say move ahead with caution and common sense but be brave and be fearless and know that you are surrounded by loyal friends and family this week, as well as in the career sector. It's going to be a good week for you. And whatever life and obstacles might throw at you this week, because, you know, it happens. You'll have the stamina and you'll have the bravery to do it. Okay? And get through it. For some of you, you might be getting a proposal and look, this is coming right on time because, you know, February 6th to the 12th, it's leading right into what? The Valentine's Day weekend. And I know for some people, they hate hearing about Valentine's Day, especially if they're single, blah, blah, blah. Well, look, for you guys out there, if you're not coupled up and you just hate the thought of Valentine's Day, always do what my family used to do growing up and that is we showed our love in the household meaning we bought gifts for each other we exchanged cards we bought candy and we just made it more of a family affair it valentine's day does not have to just be about couples i don't know where that's been written but no it should just be a day of love period so whomever you have in your life that you love and loves you Show them that you care. Buy them a little card. Send them a little email gram. Whatever you want to do. You can also send them a cup of coffee. Door dash it or grub up it. Do it as a little surprise. But little tokens, hey, listen. They go a long way. They do. Now, of course, this card is signifying that for some of you, you may well be receiving a proposal. Could be a marriage proposal. It could be a business proposal. Proposal could be both for some of you. Hey, you never know. It just be could. It could be a week for winning for many Libras out there and take the win because you definitely deserve it. I'm sure a lot of you have been through a lot lately, and we could all use a nice happy ending. But what is really an ending? It's just the doorway to a new beginning. Okay, so. Keep that in mind this week. And remember, this card isn't necessarily all about just getting that ring and that bling. You could very well be getting an offer for a job as well as selling some property or real estate. You could be handed a golden opportunity at work, a new project or a new job. You could be making some money off of your stocks. You never know. All right. So don't just be all doom and gloom if you're single. I don't like doing readings that are just 
you know, shining the light on people that are coupled up because there are a lot of us out there, you know, or a lot of you out there, I am coupled up, <laughs> that haven't found that right person yet. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. So live your life, do you, and hey, let me know what kind of proposals come to you this week, if any at all. Might not receive any yet. Might not be your time. And that's okay too. All right. So the next card is the Fool. Have the courage to embrace change, take risks, be adventurous. Bam, bam, bam. So I love the fact that this card is showing up along with the proposal and the luck card and the page of pentacles. So some of y'all are definitely having a blockbuster week as I like to refer to it. Take that risk, be bold, don't be afraid. If there's something that you've been wanting to launch, definitely now is the time to do it while we're in that phase between the new moon and the full moon. Plant those seeds, all right? So you can get that growth going on. If there's something that you wanna do to reinvent yourself, like a new job, go for it. Touch up that resume. Get a new LinkedIn profile. If you have a LinkedIn profile, touch it up. You know, spruce it up. Make sure you're reaching out to more people and connecting and networking. You never know. Seriously, between LinkedIn and Facebook groups for specific hobbies or professions, there's so much networking going on online. It's insane. So just meeting the right person at the right time can be very life-changing okay so this is definitely all about taking risks this week and you have the support of spirit and the universe behind you and also the astrology is pointing to it as well because again two planets that were holding a lot of us kind of not captive but holding us up mercury and venus they were both retrograde at the same time and that just sucked <laughs> it really did and venus was asleep for 40 days starting december 19th up until january 29th so yeah that was holding up a lot of people in terms of money love and even beauty if you were planning on giving yourself a makeover as well as mercury mercury sleeping equals cancellations scheduling mishaps messages not getting delivered and a whole other array of headaches but we don't have that anymore we have that green light so utilize this week whatever you want to start do it and this next card is for all my libras whether you're coupled or single doesn't matter the card is saying i love you and yes, these are very important words to say, whether you say it to a family uh, member, friend, partner, pet, they're important words to say, and you should definitely say them. Don't hold it in because I'll tell you right now, tomorrow and even the rest of today are not guaranteed. So make sure that those that are in your circle, in your tribe, make sure that they know how you feel and just say it, okay? And I pulled these other cards, these oracle cards, to kind of just give a little extra clarity in terms of the I love you card, even though the I love you card is very self-explanatory. It just wants you to express how you feel to those that you love. But I just asked Spirit and our creator, was there any other messages that you wanted some Libras out there to know pertaining to love? And these are the messages that I received. Somebody is saying or thinking, you are the person of my dreams. Another message is, there is so much that I want to tell you. So again, getting back to the moon card, you know, it just because it's in reverse does not necessarily mean whatever messages that are revealed are negative. It just means that they have to be said, okay? So take that with a grain of salt. And please be patient with me. Okay. So again, I'm looking at the proposal card after I read that. And it's, you know, for some of you, you might feel that you're ready to move forward while the person that you're with may not be. So that could 
involve a conversation that needs to be had to figure out what you guys want to do next. All right. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this reading, Libra. I really enjoy doing it for you. I appreciate my audience. So if you haven't done so already, please like, share, comment, subscribe. I truly appreciate it and I am grateful for you. So until next time, bye-bye.